Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. Uh, today, I'm answering more questions, so it's your questions answered, part two. People always ask me, what's in your spray bottle? And I always like to say, well, it's vodka. Of course it's not, it's water. It's a spray bottle. And I'm using acrylic paint, which is water-based. The next question, of course, after that is, why do you use a spray bottle? <laughs> uh, valid question. Uh, I use, as I talked about in the previous video, natural bristle brushes. If I dunk those natural bristle brushes in water to help move the paint around on the surface of the painting, they lose their pliability. They get soft. They don't spring back. So I prefer not to dunk my brushes in the water. I prefer to use the spray bottle to put water on the surface of the painting where the paint is to help the paint spread better or to help me blend edges. That's why I use a spray bottle always. I'll have a spray bottle in one hand and a brush in the other hand. Now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> uh, another question I get is, do you frame your paintings? No. Another question is, why do you paint on paper? Uh, because it's fun to paint on paper. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't paint on paper. Uh, I, I guess I start, you know, I started doing it when I was a watercolor painter, and I just kept doing it as an acrylic painter. I paint on plenty of canvases, um, but you know, sometimes you just freeze up when you get to a canvas. I typically don't, but painting on paper is easier. It's cheaper. It's fun. Uh, it's easier to store. Um, you know, I take the paper when I'm with me traveling to teach workshops because I can't, you know, take big bulky canvases all over the country with me. So I take paper there because it's much easier to transport when I travel. Um, that's probably the biggest uh, reason that and because it's just fun to paint on paper and it costs less money. Um, <laughs> it's, pre it's pretty basic, pretty basic stuff. Um, People ask, you know, um, are you inspired by other painters? Yeah, I mean, not to a great extent. I sort of stay in my little bubble and do my own thing. Um, but, you know, modern painters that I really enjoy their work are Wolf Kahn, probably first and foremost. Uh, Jonas Gerard, who's a, an artist here in North Carolina. Uh, Brian Rutenberg, who I'm sure many of you know, uh, uh, all three of these painters. Um, painters, uh, you know, in history, probably the same as most people, you know, Matisse, uh, Van Gogh, uh, Monet, uh, many of the Impressionist painters, you know, Pissarro, uh, more modern painter, Picasso, Cezanne, um, you know, pretty basic stuff, really. Uh, I'm no art historian. I don't do a lot of research into obscure or other obscure painters and all that. I mean, you know, we all like what we like. Uh, those are just some of my favorites uh, from more recent history. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, those are most of the questions, common questions that I get uh, from you viewers and from students and from uh, other painters when I go to, to speak at, uh, you know, conferences or whatever. So thanks for the questions. I mean, it's always, you know, good to put the answers out there and, and, and uh, uh, see what people want to know about. If you have any other questions or comments, you know, put them in the comments below and I'll address those in uh, a future uh, a video. I mean, I always like getting questions because it gives me things to answer to people later. Uh, and if there's something in these two videos, the, the one before and this one, and that you want to know the answer to, just let me know and I'll be happy to address that in a future video. Um, if you want to join me in a workshop, you can check the link 
uh, in the description to workshops that I have coming up for this year and next year. And I hope to see you at one of those. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends or subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.